all right guys welcome to my channel today we're doing a full gear build guide right now we're streaming but there hopefully we won't make any mistakes today With so yeah them, I can today it's gonna be only gear we're not we're not gonna do skills we're not gonna do talents only gear so it's gonna be a full gear guide but before we start um first thing you need to go to the top corner you see this question mark over here you need to click on it all right after that you need to scroll up and then go to battle and click on stats so make sure you understand all these stats and what they do um, unlike other games in black lover m every stat is actually important so every mage has some stats that you need to put on him or, or, or her make sure you read all the stats and understand what every stats does so for example damage res some people might think that's not that important but it's actually important for example it's important for charlotte and black asta and we will come back to that acc also it's important for attack characters or matk characters such as Julie. so after that after you read the stats make sure you go to the special abilities down here so you click on special ability make sure you read everything and understand what stats you need uh yeah and skill page too skill page you need to click on skill page make sure you you read what the skill page does so for example asta here needs defense he needs uh damage res and he needs attack he also needs acc because asta is both a defender and an attacker at the same time because of his special uh, ability or because of his uh, uh, anti-magics which comes from his skill page reading the stats reading the special abilities of every character uh, of, of every character is really important so today we're gonna build three different characters first we're gonna build uh, green charlotte or season five charlotte then we're gonna move to uh, black asta and julius because every character needs like different uh, build for example charlotte here needs a hp build so she, she will need hp she will need defense she will need damage res and for asta as i said he will need defense he will need attack and for julius he just need like full attack gear like matk attack critical rate and critical damage asta also needs critical rate because as i said he's both a defender and an attacker if you understand the stats if you read all the special abilities the next thing you go to gear so if we go back and read what charlotte needs so she needs hp because she gets the reduced damage of hp from her passive so not only the special abilities you need to read you also need to read the passive so yeah, at the start of the turn grants the ally with the highest all attack so all attack means attack and matk both of them that's what all attack means barrier equals to 50 percent of on max hp so the more hp the more uh, barrier she's gonna give so that's why we need to focus on giving her hp and make her tanky at the same time so uh what we need to do is go to set uh for hp we're gonna go here so we're gonna pick this one here and the way i'm gonna build it i'm gonna build four hp sets and three small uh sets we will need a small one so we're gonna pick one later next thing we need speed because she needs to be she needs to be quick as well so we're gonna put this one on here if you build the full gear you will get the full bonus but right now we only need to get uh, the seven the plus seven percent hp this one we're doing it for the uh, extra speed so yeah we're gonna build half the se uh, half the the set again uh, you can build the full one it's up to you but um i want to make her both tanky and a bit of attack and speed at the same time you can build like full hp gear like for example shami over here because shami uh gets her healing from hp too so if we go to charmy go to gear yeah you can build like a full hp gear give her as much hp as you can but again for charlotte i need to make her both tanky and i need to put a bit of attack on her too next i'm gonna go to defense here and put hp make sure when you try and upgrade a gear try and look for one that uh with like good stats so you have a chance of getting better stats so um this one has critical risk so this is the best one i have so i'm gonna use this one and and if i'm lucky i might get hp too because uh hp is our main stat as i said so these three here will be our bonuses so hp plus seven percent we have we have speed plus five percent and we have uh defense plus thirty percent the fourth one is gonna be an extra one so you need to go here to go to type go here and look for a hp set just make sure you do all here yeah so we're gonna look for one with maybe hp and a one that we can use for other characters and also one that easy to max out so this one gives attack and matk not 
I mean, it's usable, it's usable. Uh, maybe we can build this one because this one uh, we might use it on other characters. So if we have like HP one, we might use it. We have critical res. We could try critical res. So I preferred this one. No, actually, because this one is going to be uh, easier to, to transcendence. So we're going to go back to the HP one and hopefully we will get some bear stats. So yeah, we're going to use this one. This is, this is the extra one. So uh, we're going to use this one because it will be easier to max out. The next thing is the small pieces. So it's the same thing. So you click here. So we're going for the small pieces. So I'm going to build an Imetika on here. Even though she's physical, she needs attack. I'm going to build Imetika because Imetika is more usable. And I can use uh, this gear on other characters maybe in the future. So attack not very usable. Even though they're going to be better on Charlotte. But we're going to use... MITK because we might use them on other characters in the future. Alright, so the next step is to max them out. So this is when I said try and pick a good gear. So um yeah, so when we go to gear, so do we have a max one? Okay, we're gonna max it out first and I will explain the stats first. So let's max this one. Try and keep clicking on upgrade instead of auto because it will be faster. So keep on clicking and you will be upgrading faster. Alright, alright, we have defense, defense is good. We have ACCE, she's not really needed on her, so we don't need ACC on Charlotte. ACC is good on Julius and Asta. So this is what you get when you max out a gear. So um, so to explain it, so C is the lowest you can get, then comes B, then comes A, then S is the highest, but SSS is the highest, but you only need S. So getting SSS is super rare and this there isn't like there's no difference between s and sss N not much difference maybe always try and aim for s a is good b is all right only if you have other major stats so as a free to play you will need to get maybe two s's a and a b that would be like a really good gear if you can get like three s's that's like super rare and super good but yeah two s's one a and one b is what you aim for critical is is, is what you need on charlotte the most important one is HP. Defense is the second, but we don't have HP. So this one is not a really good gear for Charlotte. We can maybe uh, look for another one and swap it. If you have a lot of gold, you can try and upgrade another one before you start using the, the substat materials. I might try this one. So I'm going to upgrade this one and we might use it in Charlotte if we get HP. All right, we got MATK. MATK is good for other MATK characters but not for Charlotte because she needs HP so I think we might keep the other one because this one is good we can use the substat materials so the next thing you need to understand is the substat materials so go to change substats so uh, these are the substat materials right now we only have access to these two so uh, this one you can get from the shop and you can get from squad so if we go back go to shop Go to gear exchange. So this is where you can buy your gear exchange when you like delete or remove gear. So you can buy 10 of these every week and you can buy 5 of these every week. I don't recommend you uh, spending gems on these. Up to you if you have a lot of gems maybe. But I, I, I say keep your gems for summon tickets. The other way to get it is from squad and squad boss. So if you go to squad boss. Go to total war. So yeah if we, if we click here you get uh, 5 at 20%. You get 10 at 50%, you get 20 at 80%, and you get uh, 40 at 100%. Yeah, so it's really important to join a really strong squad and max out squad boss and beat it to get all the substat material. So if you're not in a good uh, squad, make sure you leave and join one that at least can get to 80%. Because if, you, if you're not in a good squad, you're missing out on a lot. Substat materials are really important to build like good gear for good characters. The other way to get from squad is from shop. So this is for squad captains. You can buy it once a week. So if we go to uh, to shop, then captain shop. And down here, we bought it already. So you can buy this once a week. You can buy uh, 20 substat materials once a week. So make sure you do um, all your weekly contribution. Get all the points in order to buy this. Go to challenge. Go limited challenge. So right now we have this, this event over here. Limited Hall of Illusion. And it gave a lot, so uh, gave 40 here, and it gave 30 of this one. So this one uses a lock, so you can lock one stat. So if you have an S stat, uh, you can use this one to lock it. And then, and this one uses two locks. All right, so because this one is good, I'm gonna lock it. 
and i'm gonna remove it and use another one and i'm gonna start using my stop stat material so yeah so if you have a lot of gear go to type click this and right now we need a defense piece so this one will reset everything this one will lock one of your stats and keep it and doesn't remove it this one will look too this one has unlimited attempts up here it's unlimited this one only 50 so after 50 you can't uh, reroll anymore and this one only has 30 so bear that in mind right so right now we're gonna uh, reset everything so click on change substats all right we'll click on that oh yeah so uh before we go um before we keep going i have three pieces on my main account so this is my free to play account as you can see here i haven't spent anything it's 100 percent free to play and i started this account in season two so i started a bit late not too late but a bit late so yeah on my main account i got three pieces with four major stats only with this big whales and people who spend money nobody got this one yet we will get it after the limited hall of illusion is finished it's not super rare to get like four major stats but yeah you can get it with this one so uh, let's keep going so we have attack critical rate not needed let's keep going if you get something good that's not good for Charlotte and good for other characters, try and save it and build another set or another gear. Keep going. Alright, so th this would be good for Julius if only this one was uh, an MITK piece, but for Charlotte, not really good. You see here, we got like three Cs, but all the Cs are good for like MITK or attack characters. So for a free to play, an ACC too. ACC good for attack characters. So this, this is actually a good piece that you might use on other characters. This is actually not a bad one. You know what? I'm actually thinking of keeping this one. This one is not too bad actually. I'm actually gonna keep it and build another one. I have a lot of gold. I've been saving for a long time. Critical res. Um, so because we have this, we can lock this and change substats. This one will be kept, but I would rather save this for Julius. Okay, this is a max defense for the HP set, so it's 2% for other pieces like the small one, it's 3% which is max, but for the HP one, SSS is the max one. As I said, we can use this one and, and save it, but uh, I would rather save this for Julius or other important characters. Charles is important, but I think Julius is more important. So I'm aiming for HP and defense or HP and uh, critical damage. Here we go, uh, we're keeping this one. We got damage res, ACC is not really needed, but even though we have C HP, the S critical res makes up for it. So we're keeping this one. So if you get a good one, what you need to do is uh, go to here and try and upgrade the stats. The purple one is the best, so I'm gonna save the purple one. I'm gonna use this one for now and I can upgrade it later, so. This one gives the more percentage, but try, if you are free to play, try and use this one first. Uh, and get close to to the 225 percent i don't have many of this you can get up to 7.5 percent but I, I would i would say keep this one for like four major stats because this one is good but we might change it because we might find a better gear in the future all right we have another hp that we can try so let's look this one and use this and maybe we can we might we might get some luck and get defense or critical risk. if we get defense or critical risk, we're gonna keep here we go this this is actually really good so we don't have any s's but all these together uh makes up for it so this is a really good set to keep all right so because it's really good uh what we're gonna do is go to transcendence and try and max out the gear so get rid of the stuff that don't have good stats so these are 10 uh, this costs a lot of gold so make sure you have a lot of gold so yeah, maxing this one will give you more HP. So it will go from 6,756 to 9,460 HP. So yeah, only only when you get like three major stats or more, try and max out the gear because maxing it out is really expensive. Max out. And here we go. Oh yeah, and the other thing you will get this one. You can reroll up to three times. After three times, you, you will have to trade with another similar gear or the same gear to get another three rerolls uh, this one is expensive it costs it costs 500k gold 
for each reroll. So uh, we're gonna go to change substats. Go here. In this one here, you can get another HP. So you can get you can get HP again. You can get critical risk again. You can get defense again. But you can't get it in the four major stats. You can't get like HP twice here. But you can get HP here. So we're gonna aim for HP or critical risk. Critical damage we're not gonna keep. Uh, yeah, if you look here, it's 500k gold for each reroll. So yeah, make sure you have enough gold, eh? ACC, ACC is not good for Charlotte. So we're gonna trade one in. We're gonna get, we're gonna have another three rerolls. Damage res is good for Charlotte. Damage res is good. Um, I'm actually gonna keep going because I have more. I'm aiming for HP. This HP is alright, but uh, HP percentage is a lot better. Just, just remember it's 500k gold. Okay, defense. Um, I don't have a lot of resources. For the video, I'm gonna keep it. As you can see here, we have defense here. And we have defense here. So you can get the same stat again. Only only for, the, for this one here. You can't get defense twice up here. But you can get defense here. I want HP. So I'm gonna go again and go for HP. I have a lot of gold. So I'm gonna risk it. Let's keep going. HP, we need HP percentage. Here we go, we have HP. So this is really good. This is a really good gear for Charlotte. Keep this one and try and upgrade it. Because it's really good, I'm gonna upgrade it. I'm gonna go here and try and upgrade this HP once. Not really good. Move to the next defense. I don't have much defense. I will keep this one for Asta. Critical res. So this is a good example of a good gear for Charlotte. So like this is our second try for the gear. And we already have some super good gear for Charlotte. Alright, and we're gonna try the same thing for each one of these. So, I'm gonna finish. Alright, so I finished upgrading each gear. I will show you what I'm gonna keep and what I'm gonna re-roll. So, this one I'm gonna keep. Uh, even though we don't have HP, HP percentage, we still have HP here. We have, we have damage res, which is good for Charlotte. And we have defense and critical res. And this one for, for a pay to win. Uh, it's not the best but for a free to play because this account is a free to play I um, we don't have the luxury of like uh, having a lot of substat a lot of substat materials so for a free to play this one is decent just this one is good for a free to play this one is one of the best for a free to play this is actually excellent it's really hard to get uh, better stats than this for Charlotte especially this gear is really hard to to collect so uh, we're gonna keep it without being maxed for now this one I'm gonna keep for now. This one I'm gonna keep if I if I'm gonna if I end up having uh, some materials, some substat materials left, I will come back to this and change it. But this one I'm gonna keep it mainly because I have two HP here, and also we can't max it out because we don't have many. We can get it to level one, maybe, and then we move to the small pieces. I upgraded this one, so I haven't used any substat materials on this one, and I got some really good stats. This one, I might actually use on Julius, because Julius needs critical rate, he needs MATK, which is max, 3% is max for the small piece, and uh, critical damage. So everything is good, you make sure you lock, and then we're gonna swap it with this one here. I will max it out again, but first let's, let's talk about these. This one I'm gonna reset, and this one I'm gonna reset too, so I'm gonna re-roll re these two. So this is one of the reasons I said uh, I'm uh, I'm picking MATK even though attack is better for challenge. It's because MATK is usable. Because it was more usable, uh, we can use this one in Jules. If we use that attack and we got the same stats, this this one w won't be really good for Jules because Jules needs MATK. So this is one of the reasons I said we use MATK instead of attack because um, you can use MATK gear on other characters. Yeah. So let's make sure we don't use many of these because we still have Black Asta and we still have Julius left. Alright, so um, this one is alright, it's decent. We have 2 HP, we have 2 defense, we don't have critical res, but this will make up for it. So we're keeping this one for Charlotte. This one is decent. For a free to play, it's really decent. So something like this, you have like HP S, you have HP percentage S, something you're gonna keep, especially with, uh, even though this is C, but all together. It's a decent gear, so we're keeping this one. Uh, we're gonna keep this one because MATK critical rate, critical damage is really good for MATK characters. 
so because these stats are good we're gonna keep it and swap it with uh another piece i think we don't have any other pieces right yeah we don't have any other mtk so this is what i mean by using mtk because if you don't get something you want might be good for other characters all right so um no critical res yet but for a free to play this is decent this is good to keep we have an a hp not too bad even though three is the max but um a is all right i mean if you can find that if you have a lot of substat materials you can keep this one and try again to find a better one but uh if you're running low in resources this one is a really good one to keep we don't need critical rate in on uh, charlotte but yeah because we have hp we have defense we're keeping this one okay this one would be the last one all right uh still no critical race but we have a lot of hp we had we have a lot of defense uh we can make up for the critical race in the we can't need critical res we're running low in critical res uh critical res is important but this one is also decent no actually i'm gonna stop here i'm gonna stop here and we're gonna keep these ones we aimed for hp we haven't used many we haven't used many substat materials we haven't used any locks but we still got hp in every single one of them and we got defense too we have critical res here we have critical res there so for a free to play it's decent so far for a free to play it's decent all right so this one is good we have hp we have damage res acc if, if we had like defense this would be an excellent one it's a million so make sure make sure you okay critical res actually i might go for another hp because i can but I, uh, we still have a lot of gold we still have a lot of gold so we might just risk it because hp is still better than critical res so we're gonna go to change substat materials again make sure you have a lot of gold it's 500k and you get three uh, three rerolls so hp it's risky oh the thing is i don't have that many options actually i mean we can use this one and risk it again but at least we have 6.1 a the, the highest is 7.7.5 but Kitakris is decent. Right now, we have a full uh, Charlotte build. So, uh, some of these are really good, like this one here. Some are decent. This one is alright. This one is fine for now. Uh, this one is good. We have defense, we have HP. And this one is fine. So, some are good, some decent for uh, but for a free to play make sure you have like enough resources uh we have one uh, almost 100k hp which is all right next thing you need to work on is the accessories problem with this account i don't have that many good accessories actually i do have uh that one on william so um there is a paid to win nicholas that is hp or i think it was earrings um uh, this one over here this one is paid to win the more money the more rewards you're gonna get but this account's free to play i have nothing if, if we go to here to this one over here click here yeah this one is imatika you can get one for like other characters and you can't pick that from the free lr boxes so this one uh if you pay to win if you spend like a thousand bucks uh you can get this for charlotte all right so for charlotte we're using defense this one has attack uh and hp this one is really good this one has hp so we can upgrade it to maybe level eight we're low on resources when it comes to accessories all right uh, we're gonna stop here yeah for accessories it's really hard to max out it's really hard to get good stats so uh you can just keep what you have in my tk attack that's actually decent okay we're gonna stop at eight you can max it out if you have enough resources but we're gonna stop at this for now all right so this is our full build really good one in my opinion for a free to play for a, for a pay to win maybe you can aim for better we're using this one because it has a uh, defense here and yeah these are our boosts so 30 percent defense 30 percent uh, extra defense uh seven percent extra hp and extra speed over here so charlotte needs speed uh, I said I'm not gonna talk about talent, but yeah, if you max out talent, try it. There is a HP one you can put here once you have all these, but I recommend put, uh, I recommend putting HP because Charlotte needs HP so she can give the defense to her fellow uh, uh, attacker. Right now we're done with Charlotte. It's she's at 50k. 
you can upgrade the substats more but right now i'm gonna move to black asta then we're gonna move to uh julius all right so i already have some gear on asta over here so we have uh, extra attack we have extra defense and we have extra speed because we might use speed you can swap speed with another gear maybe you can use hp recovery i think it was this one or you can use more defense it's up to you but uh, i say use def uh, use speed because the more speed the better if you attack first you have a, you have an advantage for black asta so if we go back to the stats that we looked at previously for black asta we need defense percentage we need attack percentage we need critical rage and also hcc critical damage so uh, everything that's uh defense and attack we need it on asta all right i finished upgrading everything i got a bit lucky with this one we have critical race we have attack we have critical damage defense everything here is decent for us to no s's but because all the stats are good we're gonna keep uh we also got mitk here uh just one thing you need to remember you don't need mitk on black asta it literally adds zero if you look here under attack mitk is zero even if you have like mitk percentage and everything you will still have zero M uh, zero MATK. So avoid having MATK in your stats. So um, this one I'm gonna keep. This one, uh, I will think about this one. This one I'm gonna keep. Uh, we don't have defense percentage, but we have this defense, we have damage res, HP is all right. This one will make Asta tanky. If we have uh, enough substat materials in the end, I might come back and reroll this, but we're gonna keep it for now. This one, uh, we're gonna keep. Uh, MATK is useless, but but we have critical res percentage, def defense percentage, and critical res percentage. So this one is alright. This one we have a, a really good critical res over here, but no defense, so we might uh, reroll this one. And this one uh, we're definitely gonna reroll. All right, all right. So uh, I'm gonna keep this one. We have like one single major stat, but the others are alright. Defense, ACC, damage res. I will keep these for now. We have an MATK piece here. All right, so I will stop at this for now. Um, if we if we look here, we don't have 20k attack. We don't have 20k defense. For defense, we, we will get to 20k defense. If only we have LR accessories. Our critical rate is low. Our critical rate is low. So uh, the build is not that good. I will show you what's good. So this one is fine to keep. This one. Uh, this one is also fine to keep so one two and three now nah, this is half so most are not that good uh attack critical risk critical damage yeah so uh, our stats are not that good uh maybe if we max out this one i picked this one because it's it's easy to max so 10 i have plenty of it so we can just use these and hopefully we will get a, a defense percentage eh? Yeah, so this one was easy to max that's that's why i picked it change substats pick this one and we need defense really important we get defense hp critical rate s uh we're low in critical rate so we can keep this one or we can keep going for defense no actually all right so uh we're gonna keep this one and if we have enough substat materials after we finish with julius we will come back here so as a free to play you need to have at least 20k attack you need to have at least 25k defense you need to have at least maybe 60k critical rate and 70 uh 60 percent critical rate and 70 percent critical rate. so uh we're doing really bad when it comes to critical rates. so uh we will we might fix it in the future next thing is julius so uh we swapped this one is this it's the speed one so we're using this one for extra critical rate once the hp is 70 percent or higher we're using this one for extra attack and matk and we're also using speed because again the more speed the better so um julius gear is almost built kinda so uh what we're keeping is this one definitely this one is really good already uh this one is also good kinda uh, we might change it because we need MATK. Julius needs MATK. Second, he needs critical rate. And then he needs uh, critical damage. ACC. Uh, 
attack maybe and critical damage and pen is also good and that's pretty much it he doesn't need he doesn't need uh, defense he doesn't need unless like you're building him to be defensive you don't need defense you don't need HP and you don't need damage res because everything is maxed uh, I'm keeping this one as I said and I'm also keeping this one doesn't have MATK but I'm gonna keep it uh, I will use the the two locks once I have them so chain substats when, when I have this it's worth uh, locking these two because the two S's so look this is look this is and then do the same thing and only this will reroll the third one and the fourth one instead of this one you can also use the other Julius gear uh, you can use this one and that one now this one and that one these are our four major stats so I'm gonna keep this one for now I would have preferred if I got like a, a critical damage but uh, I will keep this one for now we need ACC we need MITK the more MITK the better I'm gonna look this one actually I'm gonna look this one and then we're gonna look for our critical rate 2.8 is good critical damage So we need critical rate. That's critical res. Mm. Julius doesn't really need critical res. Uh, let's just keep going, man. I'm gonna risk it, man. Nah, I, I'm gonna go all the way, man. Damage rest. Just one critical rate. Come on. There we go. A B critical rate. We have ACC. We have extra MATK. This one is decent. We're keeping this one. Alright. So we're gonna lock these two. So we don't get rid of them by mistake. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna lock this one. And hopefully we will get lucky. Two more. There we go. This one is decent. We have critical rate A. We have critical damage. I uh, wish is max. This one is decent. This one is a keep. Uh, yeah. Right. We're keeping this. We're keeping that. We're keeping that. We're keeping that. Uh, we're keeping this. Yeah. We're keeping that. Maybe we can change it. Uh, we're keeping this for now. It's not the best, but we have that. And the extra one, this one is good, but I would I would prefer using one that um, that we can max out. We can't max out this one because this is the extra one. Try and use an extra that's easy to max. So even though it has some decent stats, we're gonna remove it and maybe we will swap it with a stick because sticks are easy to max. Look for one that has a good stat. Because maybe you will get lucky. Uh, hold on. We found one here that's decent, kinda. So we're gonna use this temporarily, man. Uh, okay. Uh, we're gonna be using this. So we're almost at 40k MITK, even though we didn't boost most of the gear yet. So we're doing really well. Our critical rate is at 74%. Our critical damage is, as at, is at 58%. Uh, we have also a bit of ACC. We could work more on that. Uh, but the thing is we have accessories that that we can that we can use so uh, I'm gonna get a, an earring uh, we're gonna boost our best one so uh, we're gonna go to here and try and do a TK so uh, the best goes for your best this one is decent so we're gonna keep it three percent is all right I would prefer using this on a on an S1 that we might use later. So I'm gonna use the orange for now. Okay, really good. Orange again. I will keep this one for now. The next best one is this one here. Again, we're boosting the MITK. Alright, really good. Critical rate. An A. This one is a I'm gonna keep. It's an A, it's high already, so we're gonna use the purple one. Five, I'm gonna keep the five uh, make sure like you don't go to seven like 
if 7.5 is the max 5 and plus is decent so you keep it these these are really hard to get so um you don't need to max it out every single time so using this because it's an s we'll go again that's low there we go we're keeping that uh for this one uh try and use the lowest because these keys are not the best but for now we're gonna keep them use these don't don't put uh, your best on the stuff that you're not gonna use uh, that you're not gonna use for the long term uh, as I said this one is easy to max so let's max it out right now okay max it out we're aiming for an MATK piece we have critical rate we'll keep critical rate because we're low in critical rate there we go Not the MIT, not the MITK we need, we need to pay attention for the gold, we already use over 20 million gold. We have three chances, not really free, we're using gold, but... Let's go, critical res not needed. Damage res not needed. HP not needed, let's try once again. Go again. Critical damage not needed. Attack not needed actually man. We need MITK. We're gonna keep going until we get an MITK. Really important man. We Julius is our main unit. So we might as well keep going. Eh? Yeah sometimes it might get super expensive. So this is gonna be another 1.5 million. Critical rate B. I'm on, uh, there we go, there we go, we got a Matika, we're keeping this one. Unfortunately, we can't uh, upgrade this because we're out of boost, but we're keeping this one. Alright, A is also decent, A is also decent. So this is a close to perfect gear for an MATK character. Maybe if we had like an ACC here, instead of defense, would have been a lot better. But this is something you want to get for you, Julius, or any other MATK attack character. There we go, let's max it out. Took a million. Not the MAT, not the MATK we want, change substats. ACC is alright. But we have two chances, just keep going. Defense not what we need. Alright, uh let's do it one more time. Use the rest of our gold. Critical rare is not what we need. Not the MATK. What? Not the MATK. We need. Okay. Good. Oh, we keep this one for now. We keep this one for now. Prefer. I prefer MATK. There we go. We're gonna stop at this. Let's check again. So our critical rate is over one, uh, one hundred percent, which is really good. Our MATK is forty three k. Even though we only have two, three gear max, and not really the best, we only have MATK in, in one. So try and get MATK in all of them, like double MATK. Next, you need to focus on critical rate, or maybe you can get double critical rate. Depends on, on how on how you want to build your characters. We also can we, we have extra MATK here, and you can get uh, extra MATK here if you pay money, or um, critical damage here. All right, so uh, we're gonna use there are lots of awesome the rest of our resources on Asta. Them, I, can anyone. I haven't finished Hall of Illusion yet, so I can still use um, more LR gear on my characters. Okay, our defense is over 20k. Let's use the rest of our substat materials to to look for better stats. All right, so I finished boosting all the all my stats like i didn't boost them with with purple ones mostly green and yellow ones but because my stats on asta are not the best i'm saving my purple ones for the future i got them to 70k which is decent for a free to play our defense is over 21k defense uh which is uh, which will get us through whole illusion hopefully 
I will do a video about that soon. And yeah, critical rate is almost, I, I, I said 70% at least, we're almost there. Critical res is bad, we need to work on our critical res. I can put critical res here, but yeah, uh, I will prefer putting defense. If I put another defense here, I, I'm pretty sure our defense will be 25k. If only we have another uh, defense accessory, LR defense accessory. Alright, we're out of gold, we can't boost anymore, so this is what I got on Charlotte. She's 51k, I can get her to uh, 60k if I try harder and get more substat materials. But right now we're almost at 100k, even though we're using uh, MITK gear. So with only 4 HP gear, we're almost at 100k. So she's quite decent, kind of, only she had more critical res. But yeah, for now I'm happy with her. I can get more defense, maybe to 10k. Uh, if I max out the accessories, but uh, for now she's good. So I'm happy with Julius. Julius is looking really good. Charlotte is all right. So uh, Asta is not what I wanted, but there he will do the job awesome for now. Here. With he, them, I can be anyone. She just shut up, man. All right. So Asta, he will do the job. Uh, I'm trying to do a Hall of Illusion, limited Hall of Illusion, and another Hall of Illusion video uh, with Asta. Oh. What magic can you use? And Julius, I'm actually quite happy. I got over 100% critical rate, which is really good. And for MITK, again, decent. So yeah, I'm happy with Julius, happy with Charlotte, and uh, yeah, not too bad for Black Asta. All right, so guys, if you like the guide, please leave a like, man. This is gonna be a really long one. We've been recording for how long, guys? Three hours right now? So yeah, it's gonna be a lot of editing. It's gonna be a long one. And hopefully, uh, you know, an informative one as well. So yeah. Later. Another one.